alhamdulillah i think allah subhanahu has made me and my family financially stable well at least from when i was born this is as much as i remember so if we wanted to eat we can eat if we wanted to sleep we could sleep we have a house to stay in and if we wanted to go on holiday then we could afford to do so in other words all of our basic necessities and much more were always there alhamdulillah but when you travel to a country like bangladesh and you see the state of the people in the country it really shocks you because there are multi-millionaires in many different areas in bangladesh and in the same area literally five meters across the streets you will see very very poor people and people who don't know what they will be eating tonight or where they will be sleeping they don't have houses people who are suffering and for me i find this really shocking because on one hand you have very rich people who in general earn their money probably in a haram manner and this is very common in bangladesh and many other countries around the world as well ask anybody and just learn about how the institutions work how would they the people work how it functions and where they earn the money from and the history will be made clear to you and once you learn that you will know that the majority of the rich people a lot of the times in countries like here they earn their money in ways that are morally wrong but anyway on the other hand you have poor people and people with disabilities people for money in the streets and look served carefully i could see that the majority of the people and bear in mind that this is not like the UK where we sometimes see like fake homeless poor people that perhaps use the money for drugs and alcohol and other bad stuff. These are actually genuinely very poor people that sometimes have disabilities, no family members, and they're really poor. They don't have any addictions at all. They just don't know what they're going to eat tomorrow and maybe many of them can't even work due to the illnesses. And in fact, in many Muslim countries, you don't see poor people spending their money on drugs and stuff like that in general, or at least for what from what I've seen and what I've been told, right? So again, all of this shocks me, honestly, but at the same time, the people in this country are so used to it because they witness this on a daily basis. And an ayah that this reminded me of is وَمَا بِكُمْ مِنْ نِعْمَةٍ فَمِنَ اللَّهِ ثُمَّ إِذَا مَسَّكُمُ الدُّرُّ فَإِلَيْهِ تَجْعَرُونَ Whatever blessings you have are from Allah Azza wa Jal. And whatever hardship, whenever hardship touches you, to Him, Allah Azza wa Jal, do you cry for help alone. And sometimes it makes me feel upset because sometimes i'm not grateful for all of the blessings that allah Azzawajal has given me and i honestly think that for you to really be able to learn to be grateful sometimes you need to see things in person experience them and then reflect on them but yeah guys always remember that there are people out there who are below you not just by a bit but by a lot physically financially emotionally everything that comes in their lives and when it comes to all sorts of things in general so it could be finances health family and they go through much much harder tests than all of us so let us be grateful to Allah Azzawajal. let our gratefulness actually be put into actions not just oh alhamdulillah that's it let us show gratitude by praying and doing more good deeds and leaving that which is haram and I ask Allah Azzawajal to allow us to be people who have the ability to help others and make their lives better because this is a blessing that Allah Azzawajal has chosen us he has given us so it is upon us to donate to charity and to also raise awareness of this and try to help the people who are suffering around the world especially our beloved muslim brothers and sisters around the world and make their lives better while also promoting this one and only true religion of islam